one or both of the parents constantly undermines the other parent's relationship with the children, believing that they have to protect the children from that parent by either taking away time or getting the courts to determine that the other parent is unfit. In many, many high conflict cases, there is a parent that is hellbent, to use a very strong term, on getting custody away from the other parent. Now, there are a lot of cases that are driven by control, revenge, and by money, or what I call cash control or the children. There are a lot of cases, but um, oftentimes the high conflict personality can do the revenge part or go after the money or just punish the other person for leaving them and create tremendous chaos. If you see that you might fit into these five categories, then you probably fit into the high conflict co-parenting definition or the conflictual co-parenting definition. And in the high conflict class, we talk about all the different kinds of strategies, the mindset, the things you need to do to protect the children and let go of the conflict. The part about court is that you can have even a great win in court, get lots of custody time, and still end up having the kids being messed up. What I always like to portray and tell parents to really learn is that number one, it only takes one parent to end the conflict. It only takes one parent to save the children. And it really depends on the parent who wants to learn the skills and parent to the hundredth power to be able to save the children and get out of court. The key is that custody is not one in the courtroom. Yeah, you can have a great win, but custody is really one in your head and in your heart. When you make decisions that you're going to end the conflict, that's in your head. When you realize that you can have a paradigm shift to save your children, to end the conflict mentally, to draw the line in the sand and say, that's it. I'm not stepping over it anymore. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to bring my children along and save them and protect them and insulate them. And I'm going to let go of the ax. Well, that is when you say custody is one in your head and in your heart. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. These are some of the lessons that I talk about in the high conflict class. There are many, many, many tools and strategies that I also offer. I look forward to talking to you, hearing from you, hearing by email, or having you participate in the high conflict class. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions about co-parenting or conflictual co-parenting, I love to take your emails and have you contact me about your questions. Also check out the frequently asked questions section. There may be an answer for you in that section and if not, send me a question via email and I'll be happy to answer it and then put it on the frequently asked questions for other parents. Thanks.